Okay, today I'm going to try to show you how to make a lollipop doll. People have been asking me about, you know, how do I make them, so I'm going to try to give you a little brief overview, as this is my first little video try. Um, you need to start with uh, a wooden ball, and you can get these at any craft store, and the clothespin, and those are the legs. And you just want to make sure that the pen fits uh, on the head of the doll. Even though it's kind of wobbly right now, you can always um, glue that down and have her head sit in whatever position that you want. Oh, and you would also need a base, and these round bases come in a separate pack also. Um, hopefully, by the end of the summer, I'll be selling these kits online relatively inexpensively, so you won't have to go out and buy 20 or 30 uh, balls and clothespins at one time. Now, I use a drill. Um... And you can just get yourself a drill with the different type of drill bits. Um, this is so you can drill the hole to put the lollipop stick in for the arms. But if you don't want to go through all the trouble of drilling, then you can just take a pipe cleaner. Um, and you can just wrap it around and those will be the arms. Um, you can pretty much make just about any type of little outfit for your dolls. Oh, and these are lollipop sticks, by the way, that you can also get at a craft store. Um, some of my other dolls, um, I just really start to um, add different little elements. As you can see, you can pretty much, you know, decorate it any way you want. You can glue on little extra uh, wooden balls if you want to make little afro puffs. Um, you can obviously paint your doll's skin tone any color that you want. Not sure if you can see this, but on her arms... I just took um, embroidery thread, the silky kind, and just wrapped it around with some glue, and that makes the arms come out like really softer and a lot nicer. Um, all the clothes and the little outfits that I make and have for my dolls are made from scratch. And you can do the same. I mean, it's really hard to mess up um, a clothespin doll. And here's like a little hanging one. Um, and with that, you just have to use the smallest drill bit and get a little hook and these are these little picture framing hooks that you can just buy at the hardware store and there you've got your little hanging doll I did the hanging ones for this doll because of um, it has a different type of feet so I thought it'd be cute as a little ornament um here's another little ornament another little doll that I made I just made this one today and I think she's really cute and you can get as intricate in the details as you want. Like I made her like a little ballerina. And so she's got like little, not sure if you can see that well, little ballerina toes. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it, to making clothespin dolls. Like I said, you get a clothespin, you get a head, you just draw on your little face, um, drill a hole if you like, if you wanna have the arms going straight through the doll. Um, get a lollipop stick you can bend it with your hands a little bit so it'll be flexible don't bend too much otherwise the lollipop stick will break and of course I because most of my dolls have a brown skin tone I um, painted the lollipop sticks the same color that I painted the, uh, the doll and once you get it together um, you can pretty much come up with any design, you know, let your imagination run wild. And um, I hope this has been helpful. Like I said, uh, later in the summer, I'll try to make a more detailed, uh, specific video for you. And if you're interested in buying the kits, you can do so um, on my uh, Etsy website. Um, and it's uh, etsy.com slash back forward slash backslash shop. Uh, Clothes, pen, dolls, all one word. And thanks for tuning in. Bye. Oh, let me show you a couple more dolls. Oh, this one's so cute. I love this one. She's so cute.